Hi there, Joel from Jones Easy, and today I'm going to show you guys how to assemble your DIY U Weld It Cummins Engine Conversion Mount Kit. Okay, so when you guys order your uh, U Weld It kit uh, from uh, the website, what you're going to get is you're going to get these uh, these two engine mounts along with the uh, conversion brackets, and they will come uh, laser etched with an R. Uh, sometimes it's kind of faint to see, but uh, to try to make this as, as simple an installation as possible, what I did when I designed these is I made these tabs different lengths. So the left mount will be too large to actually install into the right plate. So the left one will go with the left and the right one will go with the right. So industry standard is that the right hand side is the passenger side and the left hand side is the driver's side. So L is the driver's side, R is the passenger side. It's always uh, as you are sitting in the driver's seat, okay? So, um, like I said, these are pretty straightforward. They uh, have interlocking tabs, so the way, you, the way you get them to be assembled is that this downward sloping portion will flush out with the top of the mount like that, okay? So you take your mount and you put it in there like that then you take your hammer and tap it all the way in until it seats down against this plate and on the back side there's a spot where you'll be able to uh, use a plug weld to put that together okay so that uh, right engine mount is assembled now sometimes they take uh, a little bit of persuasion to get them to slip down into the slots. These guys went together pretty well, but that is what your assembled mount looks like. Here's a close-up of how the uh, tab and slots work. So the easiest way to get these to install is get the top portion in like so, then roll it down and then tap that bottom until, until everything is completely seated against the mount plate. Now on the website, uh, in the product listing, we have some uh, detailed diagrams uh, for the weld detail um, on these. Like again, you'll have a plug weld on the back side and then you'll have a fillet weld right here as well as a fillet weld on that side and that's all, all the welding you'll need to do. So to actually weld these out, the materials that you're going to need, definitely want to use some anti-splatter to uh, keep uh, some of the slag and stuff from uh, sticking. I use a little magnet uh, to get this stuff positioned so that you can weld that fillet weld in, in a nice comfortable spot. Um, obviously a welder that has enough capacity to weld quarter inch uh, thick plate. These. Uh, the bent portion of the mount is quarter inch thick and the actual mounting plate itself is 3 8 So just make sure that your MIG welder is, uh, has enough capacity to, uh, to do these. So now that I have these guys assembled, see how this is flush with the top and that's flush with the top there. Um, we will go ahead and I'm going to weld this back portion first. after we weld this plug weld this rear section you're going to want to grind that smooth so that it's all flush. And I recessed these hopefully you guys can see on the camera but I recessed those tabs so that so that when you weld this out there really isn't shouldn't be too much uh, that has to be ground smooth so I'll go ahead and get this guy welded out give it a little Spray with some anti-splatter. Okay, so that is the plug weld welded out on the back side. Now I'm going to go ahead and get it set up for our fillet weld in there. So again, we'll 
give it a little spray with the some anti splatter and we'll get to welding. Go ahead and repeat the other side. Now we'll grind this smooth, make sure that that's flush, let it cool down, and that's it. Repeat uh, for the other mount. That's how you can, you guys can weld out your own uh, diesel conversion engine mounts. If you guys have any questions at all, just uh, send us a comment or send us an email. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel.